everybody welcome to Odessa Rose Creates and today we're going to work on a wooden stocking with a barn theme um, I just want to double check I set up a new camera angle so I want to make sure that uh, you can see me well so let's take a look at that and then we can get started I switched sides looks pretty good I switched sides usually I have my camera on this side but since I'm a lefty I thought maybe you could see me chalking better from my right side versus my left side so let's give that a look I think it'll be all right I feel like you can see more of my messy uh, scrap box here but oh well so uh, I want to show you my inspiration the uh, vintage stockings i was going to do the santa um, going over the houses kind of like this just in the red and white and i was looking for a, a white scrapbook paper to put across the top of the stocking and um, i came across the cowhide paper and totally changed my idea to do a barn with santa going over the barn and so we're going to change it up a little bit but I am going to keep it in the white on the red and then we'll just have the cowhide on the top and we'll embellish it from there. So let's get started. Go back up here and then I can see any comments that we may have or questions. Please ask them. Say hello if you're watching. I will obviously post this replay but if it's live you're going to see the red um, box up in the corner so um, and if you're watching replay go ahead and ask questions and I will be posting this on my YouTube channel also so let's get started I'm gonna prop this up here so I can get it off my desk all right so um, this was just a wooden stocking that I got at Target last year probably after the holidays and it was originally three dollars and I probably got it marked down. But I went ahead and, and painted uh, red, kind of watered down the paint so you can still see the wood grain through the paint. And then I just left this way because we are going to put the cowhide paper up here and give it a little of a country feel to it. So we're gonna start with that first. I'm gonna trim off this um, little uh, border they have on here because the back side is brown hide and the one side is black and white and the other side is brown and white. But I'm gonna do the black and white because I was gonna try to put a um, one of our cow transfers on here, but it just doesn't quite fit. So then I thought I'm gonna go ahead and keep with the Santa over the flying over, but we'll just fly him over the barn. And we won't get the whole barn on there, but it'll look something like that. We won't get all of the reindeer on there either, but it'll still look cute. So now I just need to figure out which section of the cowhide I want. And I, it does have the look of the hair fibers, so I want the hair fibers to be going down on the stocking. I don't want... Um, that would be quite a lot of white on that one. Somewhere in there. So I'm going to flip it over and just trace out where I want to cut it. I'll just um, mark it with a pencil. So yeah, so yeah say hello. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. No one's commented yet. Okay. All right, so let's just cut out the cowhide, which is scrapbook paper. I bought two sheets of this, but I've never used any of it, so 
this will be a good time to do so. I bought two of these stockings. The other one I did yesterday and I posted a picture of it. I did it in a pink buffalo plaid mauve, I should say, and did a cute little uh, Christmas candy paper on it. And I did the top and the toe and the heel in the paper. But this one I'm just gonna do the top because the barn is gonna take most of the rest of the um, of the stocking. Okay, so we got that. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm done with this. All right. So I'm going to uh, mark the hole just in case I want that hole to hang. I am. I will put a bow and stuff on it. So, and then I want to make sure my paper isn't hanging over. It is a little bit. Trim it up just a smidgen. And then I want to tear the edge because I want to this look um, frayed. So I'm just going to start tearing the edge. Amy's watching. Hello, Amy. Uh, cowhide top on here. Looks pretty cute. Now I like to go ahead and um, um, wax the edge with the stained wax to two reasons. I like it to look more vintage so I like the stain on it and then the other reason is um, I like to put wax on top of my paper so if the, uh, if a transfer would stick, which is sticky, if they stick on the paper, I don't want it to stick to the paper and tear the paper. So I like to put the wax on my paper if I'm gonna put any transfer on near it or on top of it. You can use the clear wax if you don't want to have the vintage, worn, dirty look of the stain. Then just use the clear wax. I use I use both depending on what look I want. But I tend to use the, the vintage more, the vintage look. So I'll make sure you can see that. So I just rub the wax on and it just kind of stains the torn paper here to make it look more vintage. Cause I am gonna wax over the whole thing in the dark wax over the white chalk. Everything's gonna be done white chalk. So it'll look more um, yellowed or vintage when we're done. Okay, we'll stick that in there. Throw all the little scraps away, get them out of the way. All right, and the next thing we wanna do is apply Mod Podge to the back of the paper, and then we'll attach it here to the top of the stocking. Okay. Um, I guess I didn't grab 
grab any. Usually I have a cup of water here to put my uh, glue brush in after I'm done, but it'll be all right. All right, so this is just regular Mod Podge. I use the matte finish in case it would get down onto the your surface. You're not having a shiny, um, it won't dry shiny, it'll dry matte. So, I'll just toss it in my water where the transfers are going to go. Okay, so let's put this on here. Shifting it to line it all up. Okay, then I'm just smoothing it out. Make sure there's no air pockets in it. cute. <laughs> a little cowhide on the top. I'm sure they didn't have cowhide on them back in the 40s and 50s, but got to modernize it a little bit. All right, we're done with this. And next we need to do put our barn on. And we're just going to use white chalk again. Um, I could use the almond. So I do off white or just white. Let's just go with the white and I'll just age it with the I'll age it with the wax. Okay, so you want this nice consistency with your chalk paste. Okay, kind of starting to drip pretty easily. You don't want it too thick, you don't want it too thin. And then these are reusable silk screen transfers. So silk screen means it has the screen fabric in there and we're going to squeegee the paste over it and that's how you get your image. And we're going to do part of the barn and we want to leave room for Santa to fly over. So I may need to drop this down a little bit. And I'm going to put on that silo one there. You want to make sure they know that it's a silo. And still going to have room for Santa. Looks pretty good. And press this on. Make sure you don't have any air pockets in your silk screen. Make sure it's, the back side is sticky so it's going to Hold its place while you chalk. I'm just gonna grab some on my squeegee here. And I like to start the center and go out on this one I will, just because the transfer is not sticking the best. So I wanna make sure the paste kinda holds it down. I've used this barn a lot, so it's starting to lose its tackiness on the back, but you could still get it to work. You can get a lot of uses out of your silk screens. Alright, we got it. The chalk paste over it. Going through that silk screen, so we're just going to scrape off the extra. Let's 
kind of skim it down. pick that up. And there it is at the barn. I have a tub of water down here. I'm just going to lay this in the water and then um, when we're done we'll wash those off and put them back on the backer sheet here and we'll be able to use it again. I'm going to put the blow dryer on this to dry it a little bit. Santa. So these were two separate transfers. This was, uh, there's a big saying to it, it says to all a good night, Merry Christmas and to all a good night or something like that. And then the barn is from the, the barn transfer. So we're putting a couple of different ones together. So we'll get at least Santa and two of the reindeer or maybe it's four if there's two side by side. And let's just raise it up just a little bit. Perfect. Alright. And some more white chalk paste. And I'll go ahead and put the lines like you know there's more reindeer up ahead of this of this one. Alright. We've got our Santa. Turning out pretty cute. Get those in the water. Okay. Now, I'm just going to let it dry. Just to dry it quicker. Chalk paste does dry pretty quick, but when you're in a hurry, you don't want to sit and watch paint dry or paste dry. So I'm taking my antique, I call it antiquing wax, but it's a special dark stained uh, wax paste. And I'm just going to rub it on top of the chalk. And it does dull the brightness of the white which I want it to do. It also seals in the chalk, so it makes it harder for it to come off if something would rub up against it. And you'd have to rub really hard to get it to come off. Embellishments to the top here to make it even more cute. That's 
how easy that was. Pretty easy. Throw those in the water also. Okay, so the only chalk color I used was white. So now let's make some ribbon. I got these um, bells that have on a wire. That'll be cute on there. Now I'm just going to make the messy, what I call the messy bow. Just take strips of ribbon, scrunch them all together. Never have enough buffalo plaid, right? That, that, that. And let's see, we'll add in some something like that. I don't think I want to add any green, but I do have this, and that's another stripe. I do like the snowflakes, but they're very white. I would have to see if I can rub some, some wax on them. Let's just give that a try. I've never tried it before. Make them a little dirty. So, no one's commenting. No one's being, everyone's being really quiet today. I can't believe it's December already. I feel like, I don't even feel like it's Christmas time, even though I have my house decorated. Oh, that really makes it dirty. Too dirty. So I'm gonna rub some of that off. That's not too bad. I might not even need that one. It might be a little bit too long. All right, let's see what it looks like. Probably need some twine. So I just kind of crisscross them or X them. I 
like to add twine and then I um, twist it out. Just mm, let me think. If I want to um, poke through the hole, I thought it would be fun to. I wish the bells were closer together. I'd have to. I think I'll just incorporate it in the um, bow. like turn it in so it's not open okay so as you can see I got them all stacked here so I'm taking a longer piece of twine going across the top of the X and I'm gonna flip it over and cinch it up in the back Now's the time to kind of even out the sides if one got longer than the other. I'm gonna pull it and make them even. All right. Tighten it in the knot in the back. Okay. So we have our bow. It's gonna look really cute on here. I'm going to unravel these twines. Frame out. On the red ones too. Red ones are just two strands in it where the um, twine, jute twine at three, so. So just untwist them and pull them apart. And that will get your fray. Hi Sherry. Just uh, let's trim these this side down a little bit. Making a bow for the stocking I just did. I used a cowhide scrapbook paper across the top. This is a wooden stocking. I got it was just in this color. Well, it was a wood grain on the front. It was just in a brown color, and I painted uh, it red. And then we add the scrapbook cowhide on the top, scrapbook paper, and then we um, used our silk screens of the barn and the Santa flying over to cute little jingle bells in here. Let's see which way we want to go with this. And I did not plug in my hot glue gun. Uh, let me do that real quick. See if we can get it going before we're done. It's 
so it looks something like that. Um, it came with these red strings on there, so I might attach that back in there. Possibly, if I can get it back in there. Yeah. I might take a piece of wire just fold it in half and make it a needle to get uh, twine or yarn or anything through a small hole. So just bend it in half. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll find out. It's a really thick rope. So I could tie that to that and then we wouldn't even need, need hot glue. fray these out. I could cut them off, but I'm just going to fray them out. So, let's tie this back up. Just in a, I just want to make sure it's loop it tie. Just tied it in a knot, pushing the knot towards the top. Super cute. Can you hear the jingle bells? <laughs> there. My vintage sand are we frozen? There it goes. I can just hang it like that. Isn't that cute? Yeah, a cute little barn theme and um anywhere in your house but cute in a little boy's room super adorable love it i will photograph it and post it on my page thanks for chalking with me everybody i got lots of little projects i want to work on today so um i may hop on again and show you how i do it or just watch for photos Thanks for watching again. Thanks for chalking with me. Bye-bye.